Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Oge and I'm reaching from Abuja, Nigeria. In today's video, we're going to be making a tomato mix, tomato pepper mix. This is some of the fresh tomatoes that I have selected and they are really strong and fresh and that is supposed to go into the refrigerator because every other thing is going to be going into the freezer and then I'll use it when I want to use it. Meanwhile, I'm washing with baking soda so that all the chemicals and uh, pesticides can get out of my vegetables. In this, for this tomato meat, this is just one of one of the methods that I use. I try to have a variety of tastes when I'm cooking or when I'm making my ingredients. So this is just one of it. Remember that World Health Organization recommends that we use at least we eat at least five fruits and five vegetables daily so with this you're already eating so many vegetables in one so i've washed my tomatoes and i'm washing my tatati when put when you put your baking soda or vinegar or salt or whatever it is you're using to cleanse these chemicals you want to soak them for a while before rinsing and that's what i've done here so that's it guys um by the way my name is Oge. if you're new here you're welcome but if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for your love and support you want to subscribe if you're new here so that you can get and click on the bell icon so that you can get updates anytime i share a new post so this is a bell pepper green peppers i reserved i had in my freezer i just decided to wash it and use it up for this mixture and i have my spring onions spring onions guys you as you know green bell peppers or even general bell peppers are sweet they add really nice fragrance and taste to your sauces or stews um, um spring onions is also something that helps to uplift the taste of your recipes or um, your food yes and i'm adding that to this mix this whole thing i have blended here is two paint buckets two five gallon or four gallon i don't know it's called painter two painters of tomatoes apart from those ones i brought out to put in the refrigerator and then i have one basket of tatashi and half basket of shombo or chili pepper i think that's what it's called and then i have um, just a bit of um green bell peppers about 1000 naira worth uh, because i bought in the market i had a really good deal and it was um about seven or six to seven or eight of them for 1002 yes so that's what i'm using here and i'm going to be using some peppers which i'll mix with yellow peppers and then the onions i'm using is about half of the dustbin basket that they sell in abuja here guys so that's the combo i'm using for this particular recipe i change it from time to time and i'll be carrying you guys along as that happens so i have my young man here who is hungry and decided i must feed him So back to the video i'm having to wash out all my vegetables and then i try to wash about two to three times to make sure all the dirt and whatever leftover dirt or so sand are settled the sand is settled below of which one i rinse two three times there's nothing left there anymore and then i'm having to peel my onions onions add a really great flavor to your meals uh, I use it for my soups <laughs> like okra or mono egusi vegetable soup. They are very very great for those recipes and you want to try it if you've not been trying it. So um, this is what I have. Guys, let me know in the comment section if you think this is um, if you think this if you think this makes sense. If you're going to try this recipe and let me know if you're enjoying this video. Don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up if you like this video or if you, if you enjoy what I'm sharing. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and loved ones. By the way, I make videos on healthy living, budgeting, and great recipes, and how to do all of this on a budget. Yes, guys, that's why I'm here for you. So this is my scotch bonnet or whatever. I don't really know the names of these peppers, but red pepper, sha, and my leftover yellow pepper. And yes, I this is the yellow pepper I just got, and I'm good. I like to buy it in bulk so I can use whenever I like. Um, I'm washing my peppers just to add to what I have. Because this yellow pepper burns really well, man. This yellow pepper has very nice flavor, and um, 
it's it's hot very very hot it, just a little bit of it is uh, makes your soup or stews very very hot and the flavor is another level so this here yeah, guys i'm done washing all that i have been washing i have my tata shea shombo pepper and onions and all of that mix guys so we're going to now start the next process or the next phase which would be to combine all of them um in my pot by the way i have my green bell peppers underneath the spring onions i'm going to be combining all of this and um let's see how it goes guys see you on the other side so i have my very large pot this large pot is enough to um cook rice for about 20 people that's just let you know how big this pot is so i put <clears throat> i put in my tomatoes and i've put in my tatashe notice that i did not grind and neither did i um sieve any water out of it so i'm just going to be letting it cook and the goal of this is not to cook until all the water dries no i'm not smoking it i just want to um, cook it to a reasonable extent so i can get as much water as i can possibly get um, out of it one i'll be saving gas in the long haul because i don't need to cook this till my gas finishes you know you know how long it will take for all that water to dry so i'm adding all my ingredients one after the other because if i decide to pour everything in my pot at the same time it will not uh, be able to take it so that's why i'm having to do the but if you have a really large pot please feel free to pour in everything as you like so i'm adding a little bit more yellow pepper because I feel like the other one is not going to be enough. But my guess, my people, this big pepper is peppering. You know what I mean? And I'm all going in with my onions too. And there's a lot of onions. Yes, I like to add a lot of onions in my meals. Yes, guys. So I'm going to be letting this cook. And I let it cook down. Then when there's a bit of space, I added more onions. Just to make sure that I have everything in one pot. And so guys, that is what I have. I'm going to try to stir this, even if this is like putting a noodle, a noodle through the a camel through the needle's eye. It's going to be very difficult because the pot is really full and I, I start the risk of pouring things out. So I'm just going to let it be. And then the next thing I'm going to do is blend, blend, blend. I don't like my tomato smooth or my tomato mix. I don't like it to be smooth. Uh, I prefer to actually my husband introduced me to that before now I used to prefer it smooth my husband doesn't like it smooth so I just chop and I've got to use to it such that I just find myself doing it this way so but guys when you are making your your base bar you see this spring onions chop please chop it chop it chop it so you won't have to deal with this kind of um, issues when you're blending or whatever so I'm having to use my sieve to sieve out all that um good all that goodness out of the pots and then this leftover water man is not to be thrown away oh, is this is liquid gold and this can be added to your meat stock to make your beef i can i can use it to cook my meat when i'm maybe batch cooking and i use all that water to boil my meat and extra water if i need but right now i'm not batch cooking so this water i'm going to save it is taught is my vegetable stock which i can either use to cook my rice meat or anything i want it's not to be thrown away you see why you're saving because ordinarily you would have cooked this dry but now you're having to get extract some flavor from it and then it's going to use to serve another purpose that's water is enough to enough to for about between one to three meals depending on what you're cooking and how much you like to um you like the flavors and all of that so guys i'm just transferring into my food processor and i'm going to be blending uh, until it's roughly chopped that's really the, the goal and the reason i'm having to um okay after blending because i didn't get the chance to stir everything while it was in the pot because of the volume uh by the time i'm done i'm going to be pouring it back into this pot so that at the end of the day i have the opportunity to mix everything so that all the flavor can go around and i know i'm done for this stew base stew base come in different i mean um <laughs> combinations this is just one of the ways i make my stew base and don't forget that your stew base has a lot to do with how your stew turn out and remember that your stew is also tied to your jollofs 
is tied to your jollof rice to your porridge and everything that you're using stew based to make um eventually i'm going to be substituting this with tin tomatoes which is what how i like my meals but if you want to um use this for plain for your stews or jollof feel free to do that in another video i'll be showing you how to make a stew base for jollof if you want it really really colorful and that's why you need to subscribe if you've not already subscribed you see this one is greenish and that's because um, it has a lot more of the spring onions in it yeah that but doesn't matter we're gonna go and stir everything up and we're good to go So I'm done now and I'm just mixing everything together to make sure that um, everything is well blended and mixed so that everything is equally apportioned. And I'm using this my big bowls to store or to package them which I am going to be storing in the freezer. The one in the stainless bowl is what I want to use to make my stew base um, for the weekend or for two weeks which that's average time it lasts me so this stew combo um this stew base or tomato mix or whatever this tomato mix or tomato pepper mix is going to last me for about six weeks yes that's because i'm going to be supplementing with tin tomatoes but that's how much i that's how well i maximize my tomato mix and that's it for this video guys i hope you like this video please let me know in the comment section if you enjoy my video if you like my content if you think you need um uh, if you have ideas on what you think i want to share concerning healthy living budgeting and great recipes please drop your comments down below and i'll be glad to hear from you guys i hope you like this video don't forget to share with your friends give me a thumbs up click the bell icon after you subscribe and then i'll be seeing you guys in another video until then stay safe bye bye